All right. So I was playing with this recipe the other day, and um, I thought it might be interesting to share with you. <coughs> so we're all familiar with, uh, yeah, this is an application of expression sphenae, possibly the fastest talk you'll see with expression sphenae. Uh, so we're all familiar with the familiar um, interface impl idea. So whether you call it, whether you use a pimple idiom, or a hazard, or an iser, the idea is you have your interface with your virtual functions, and then your implementation, which is encapsulated and has the details of you know, what you actually do. Now this is normal in, in kind of object-oriented code. So I had this idea of doing it with uh, all static. So the idea is basically that we're gonna have the interface be a class template, and the implementation will be its template argument that supplies the functionality. And then we have in our interface a set of basis functions without which, you know, which provide our complete and expressive interface. And then we have a further set of extended functions to provide a richer API for the sake of expressivity or performance. It's fairly common. <coughs> so then the implementation, the idea is that the interface can supply fallback implementations of the richer interface, which can be implemented in terms of the basis set because the basis set is complete. Uh, but the implementation can supply richer functions at its own option for the sake of typically performance. So let's see an example of this, right? So here's an auto-completion engine, and the basis functions for an auto-completion engine would be add a word to your corpus, and find the list of candidates for a given prefix. And then in the extended set, we might want to also provide functions to say, add a bunch of words, because it might be uh, faster to add a bunch of words at one time, and uh, complete as far as is unambiguous. So if, if all the words, if all of my candidate completions start with the same prefix, I can complete as far as that prefix goes. And you can imagine that we can implement the engine of this in a few ways, we could just have a sorted vector of strings type engine, or we could have a more complex tree-based thing if we had a lot of auto-completions. These are, these are common scenarios. Um, and so the vector implementation probably wouldn't, would just use the fallback for the complete function, <coughs> but it would, you know, have, it would override add words because it's, it would only have to sort once. Uh, whereas the tree-based implementation could well provide a complete function just resulting from walking a few nodes of the tree. Anyway, so that's our, that's our interface, and that's the, uh, that's the template. Then we're gonna use this little expression SVNA pattern. So this is the void T uh, detection idiom as popularized in a couple of talks. So if basically, you can see we're doing SVNA detect, and we're giving it a name, so, and then we're giving it the expression, which gets put into the decal type on line three of the, of the uh, macro there. And the upshot is that if our engine provides the, uh, if, if this is a valid expression to call on our engine, then we end up deriving a thing from true type, otherwise we end up deriving from false type. Well, now that we have this, all that we need to do in our function bodies in our, in our interface is overload for true type and false type and pass it the, uh, the macro or the, the, the thing that was derived from either true type or false type by the macro. So our engine um, is our engine is the, uh, argument that was passed in. We say, does it have complete? If it does, we call the true type, and that just calls through to the engine's version. Otherwise, we have our fallback code. And this, this all inlines um, as you'd expect. Uh, and that's really the whole thing. That's, that's a very easy pattern to apply. Um, so you, it allows you to decouple your interface and implementation. Everything's defined statically. You don't get a V table, but you get the same kind of separation of concerns that you get with with um, interface and implementation pattern. And everything in lines, as you can see, when it's provided by the engine, it's just a one-line function. So it just works. And uh, because the interface is a template, you don't even get things that you don't use instantiated. So no wastage. Um, you can find uh, the, my uh, kind of proof of concept online at my GitHub. Thanks very much.